Hey guys, Julian Lello here, Melbourne-based fashion photographer, and in today's video, I'm gonna take you through a few tips on how to shoot with one of my favorite sources of light, and that is window light. So jumping straight into tip number one, and I'm not gonna to spend too much time on this one because it is a very simple one, and that is to turn off all the other lights in the room. Now there's two main reasons you wanna do this. The first being is that you don't wanna create any conflicting shadows. And what I mean by this is that you don't want any shadows going in a direction that isn't that of the light created by the window itself. The second reason being is that you don't wanna mess with your white balance. You've got this really beautiful, soft, natural daylight coming through and you don't want any tungsten or fluorescent lights on in the room that may be mixing with that, making it hard for your camera to set the right white balance if you are shooting in auto white balance or for you later in post-production. The second tip is to pick your time of day. Now there are two ways of shooting with window light. The way I personally like is when the light is really beautiful and nice and soft. So obviously I wanna pick a time of day where the sun is not directly coming through the window. By contrast, if you do like a lot of contrast in your images or you wanna create some interesting shadows with the window frame or any of the plants outside or setting up something with inside the window to cast some interesting shadows, you wanna pick a time of day when the sun is directly coming through the window. Now moving on to the third tip, this is where it starts to get a little bit more interesting. And the third tip is using the light to depict the mood or tone of your shoot. So what I mean by this is that where you position your model in relation to the window light is really gonna set a mood or tone to the shoot. For example, if your model is directly in front of the window and the light will be really nice and even but create quite a flat image. As you start to turn your model, and away from the window light, you'll see more of a shadow being cast across their face and body, obviously making it a little bit more moody and to the point where they are back to the window and they are completely silhouetted. So what I like to do at the start of the shoot, a little trick is to get your model to stand in front of the window, make them turn around on the spot and you walk around them as they're doing so. You can see how the light hits them and how it will affect the mood and tone of the shoot. And then that way you can pick a position for them that will give you the end result that you desire. Tip number four still relates to the positioning of your model to the window, but it has to do with proximity to the window. The closer your model is to the window, the stronger the light will be, but it's also gonna create some harsher shadows and more contrast. So if that's what you're looking for, position them closer. As you start to move the model away from the window, the light will start to soften off and obviously create less of a shadow or contrast. It also starts to spread a little bit more, so you'll get more of an even lighting from head to toe. This is particularly important if you are shooting fashion photography and it's a head to toe look. If you are shooting with a window that isn't floor to ceiling, this is where you can often get tripped up when shooting fashion photography, as the lower half of the body won't be lit as evenly as the top half. Sticking with that point of even lighting, this brings me to my fifth and final point, and that is to use a reflector. Now, depending on the look you're going for, if you're not going for something that is really harsh contrast and really shadowy, what you might wanna do is use a reflector. I personally prefer the white side of the reflector, but sometimes do use the silver, just to bounce a little bit of light back in and soften off those shadows. It can also really help if you wanna shoot them backlit, so models back to the window, the reflector can help bounce some light back in and light up the front of them. Where I mentioned in the second tip to pick your time of day you're shooting 
If this isn't possible and you are shooting with really harsh sun coming through, but that isn't the desired result you want, take off the outside of the reflector and use the middle as a scrim, holding it up to the window, and that'll just help to diffuse and soften off that light. So they're my five tips for shooting with window light. I hope you enjoyed the BTS from my shoot that went along with those tips. If you did, help me out with a like, a subscribe, and as always, thank you for pressing play.